It's here. I normally don't do unboxing videos. It's pretty rare for me, but I am absolutely stoked about the ZWO AM5 and the carbon fiber tripod. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing video today, get all this opened up, and then hopefully I get clear skies tonight and can start playing around with it. This is gonna be totally new for me. So here we go. A big thank you goes out to Agena Astro for a pleasant experience. Once again, they are without a doubt, in my opinion, the best astronomy vendor out there. So um, thank you, Agena Astro, for getting this to me, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting into this. Go ahead and see here. Ah, yes, very nice. All right, here is the TC40 carbon fiber tripod. There it is. From the outside, it looks pretty nice, and this is incredibly lightweight. I mean, very lightweight. So let's go ahead and flip this upside down. There we go. And this is a uh, little carrying pouch for extra weight for like rocks or something if you want to hold the tripod down. So yeah, here it is. One thing I noticed right off the bat, very solidly built, legs snap together really nicely. And uh, yeah, again, just super lightweight, nice carbon fiber weave on the legs here. And uh, I, I'm a little surprised at just how lightweight this is. So yeah, that rock bag definitely might come in handy. Okay, so now that the tripod is done, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, ZWO AM5 mount. Okay, here we go. And there it is. All right, I'm just gonna cut this tape. And pull another thing out there. That's a nice case. And got some instruction manuals, foam, and, oh, this is a shoulder strap for the case. All right, I think it's time to take a look at this thing. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how small that is. Ah, oh, it's tiny. All right, in the box, looks like we have the uh, ZWO AM5 mount here. Uh, a couple of hex wrenches, a USB cable, a hand controller. Ooh, that's a, that's a solid toggle. Xbox players will like that. <laughs> um, and then just some cabling here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out here. Wow, that is so light. I can hold that with one hand, no problem. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, I can't wait to use that. Awesome, awesome. Case looks good. Nice solid foam in here, uh, keeps it nice and tight. And they also have a spot for the counterweight bar as well, which is nice. So yeah, overall, very, very good case from ZWO. And now I'm really excited to, to take a dive into this mount. Now one thing that instantly stood out to me when I got the AM5 mount was the quality of the machining. The bolts turned really smooth so you know they were cut on good dies and the holes were tapped really well and I'll show you an example of this. See how that just freely spins there? So you have a uh, altitude adjustment locks here so when you're done polar aligning you can lock in your altitude and then you also have azimuth adjustment locks here that lock down the mount. And all of these just turn silky smooth, so the quality of the machining is excellent on the AM5. Now I'm a pretty skinny guy, right? I'm curling a 20 pound dumbbell here, you know, no problem. Well, I'll tell you right now, the ZWO AM5 weighs significantly less than this 20 pound dumbbell. I could curl this thing all day and I'm a stick. Well, maybe not all day, but you get the point. It's extremely lightweight. I'm holding the entire thing here. So if you're looking for portability, this thing is gonna be awesome. You just put it in its pack, hit the road, and you're on your way. So I'm hoping tonight the clouds will clear up for me and that I can image with this uh, new ZWO AM5. Absolutely stoked about it, so here we go. I'm not gonna lie, this just looks wrong, but 
I think it's gonna work out. So let's hope these clouds go away. Hope you enjoyed that uh, unboxing and we'll see how it does. <laughs> Check out how good my guiding is and I haven't really touched it. Uh, I basically just changed a couple of parameters, hit start, and this is what I got without any fine tuning at all. So this is awesome. For this long focal length, the stars are nice and sharp, so the AM5 definitely can handle the 1650 millimeter focal length. I'm absolutely stoked about this image. So uh, you're gonna just have to stay tuned for the review because this is looking pretty dang promising so far. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the unboxing and my first impressions. Have a great, uh, great day, clear skies, and we'll hope to see you in the review. And wait for the review. <laughs> gotcha, suckers. Man, I'm such a nerd. <laughs>